So guys, I am back with another first descendant video and today we check out the poison witch Reina. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So Reina is another very unique character from the first descendant. I used her for probably a little over an hour on a maxed out account and although I won't lie to you guys, she probably isn't for me, I know 100% she is very unique and some people out there will love what she does and what she offers. And depending on what happens with release, she could be one of the most powerful characters in this game. So her abilities. First up we have the Venom Baptism. It launches a poisonous bullet. Where enemies hit by this bullet are infected. The initial explosion also creates a poison pool with a 3 meter radius. Enemies are poisoned when in this pool, obviously. We then have defense mechanism. You enter an armor of plague state. When in this state your defense is raised and enemies that attack you are infected by poison. Next up guys, we have decomposed poison. Crows uh, poison to create a poison swamp which spreads over a certain small area. Enemies who enter this swamp come under the effect of poison and venom injected. Enemies infected by venom leave poisoned footprints. Where if other enemies touch these footprints guys, they also become infected by poison. We then have dead room, switches weapon to dead room, returns to original weapon after a short period of time or the maximum amount of bullets has been used. Enemies hit by a dead room get poisoned and receive a certain amount of attack damage. I ain't mean specific with numbers here guys as they scale with your level, so they could be higher or lower depending. Her passive skill is called Unauthorized Bullet. When attacking enemies poisoned by friendly skills, damage is increased. So yeah, you guys can no doubt understand what I mean by this character and how she could be super super powerful and a fan favourite as you can see what's on offer here. She along with Blair for me are probably the two most unique uh, when it comes to build and build diversity and what is probably possible here depending on what's in the full game. Yeah, I used her for about an hour, an hour and a half and although I knew straight away that she, what she's capable of. Something about her just was not for me. I don't know if this is just because I just enjoyed using other characters more, or just that uh, she just seemed a little predictable. Either way though guys, it doesn't matter what I think, at the end of the day, in my opinion, she will be discovered to be one of the better characters in the game, if we are limited to the 10 available in the beta at release. But yeah guys, my thoughts on Freyna, no doubt a character I know people will love. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more First Descendant, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.